Hey y'all, and welcome back to my channel. I know it's been a little minute, y'all. I'm doing another video tonight, I promise. Um, I gotta do some homework for sure first, though. I've been trying to balance that work, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok. I've been trying to balance it out for real. Um, this is just a little get ready for me while I get ready to go to work. Mostly on the days that I open, I always try to wear makeup because I know I'm gonna be there for just a couple of hours. Um, but when I close, I try to just do something minimal, like a little lip and maybe a lash. I don't know. See, in Sephora, you have to at least have either full face, a mascara, eyebrow, or lipstick. So, at, literally every day, I have to put something on my face or on my lips. Um, and I had the hugest boil on my eye for four to almost five days. Like, it's still there, but it's not as big as it was because in the beginning, baby, it was huge. And I mean huge. I could not put nothing on it. I literally had to wait let, wait, and let my face breathe because it was from my glasses and my oil, like, bumping up against each other because I oil a lot throughout the day. And it was bumping up against each other and made the biggest cyst on my eye. I didn't know what to do. But today I had tried um, the One Size Primer, and then I also tried, what else was it? I think it was the Milk primer and i mixed them both together because my pores are terrible i guess from using so much noxema because that's the only thing that could work on my face was noxema and it basically like burned the cyst and um bumps that i had off because i have cystic acne so um that's the only thing that works for my face i don't don't give me no recommendations yes i drink a lot of water i drink water all day every day before i even have a juice or a pop baby because i know and i'm a girl i got to drink some water ph balance okay period <laughs> But anyway, I use the um, Juvia's Place eyeshadow palette, and then I also use my Rainbow Me eyeshadow palette from the Pastel Collection. And shameless plug, we are having a sale on everything on the latest collection that we just came out with. We're having a sale on everything. Excuse my kids in the background. My goodness, like I just told them I was doing a voiceover. And it's still being like, they don't care. They don't care about me. My son's birthday is on Saturday, and I will be doing a bloggy vlog of the whole day. Me cooking, the kids outside playing. We are going to have a barbecue. We're going to have some cake and ice cream. He's going to be six. Oh, my God. And y'all know all my kids' birthdays is June, July, August, and then my birthday is in September. I have the brokest summer, and I've been having the brokest summer for the last, what, seven years my daughter it was just my daughter at first and she was the only child for four years and baby i ugh, and, and i just like why god why did you put their birthdays june july august that sounds so crazy to even say and then turn around my birthday's in september like don't that just that just eat me up on the inside okay but this is my typical look that I do when um, I'm going to work because I try not to do too many exotic colors because our demographic in this store specifically because we're inside of a Kohl's it's not really too many people that do like colorful makeup they do like more subtle and clear makeup you get what I'm saying like the clear skin girlies and a lot of people have been like a skincare more than they like makeup which we all know those are trends they come back with makeup and then they come back with skin girl. But yeah, this is usually the type of look that I go with. Y'all know the foundation I'm using. That's from the Paris and Collection. I decided that I wanted to redo the whole collection as far as foundation and concealers and stuff like that, which is on the drawing table right now. We will be reopening with new products on the 17th of June. So that's coming, coming really, really soon. There will be a new palette, new lashes, and a new lip kit. So I'm super, super excited about that. I'm thinking about, and I mean thinking, I'm thinking hard about either bringing glitters back or blush. What do y'all think? Let me know in the comments. And I got 348 of y'all. Y'all need to be in the comments, okay? Make sure your post notifications are on. Make sure you follow me on all social medias. It's at the beginning of this clip and the end of this clip. But I just want to say thank you to all you guys that are subscribed to me and returning viewers i have 152 returning viewers and y'all don't want to comment on the video like what's going what are we y'all just like to hear me talk and that's okay you know what i ain't even gonna be mad because in a couple in a couple months y'all gonna be commenting so much i'm not gonna be able to reply okay but see i'm never gonna be one of them girlies that oh i'm just too busy i'm too busy to respond girl we always all on our phone you don't care how many photo shoots or how many interviews you got you always gonna be on that phone girl please but anyway um, the setting powder that I use from Makeup Revolution, 
Oh, and I also tried the one size um, setting powder at work. Not the setting powder, the setting spray. And it wasn't really, I don't know. It didn't really sit. And then the next day I tried the Charlotte Tilbury. And I feel like, mm, I don't really like the smell of it. But it definitely, when I mix them both together, it sat pretty good. But, um, yeah, when I mixed them both together, it, it was okay. It still peaked through my oil. And it also may be the Makeup Revolution setting powder that I'm using. But I am going to try that Laura Mercier. So, for my birthday, I'm doing a big old, like, review kind of shop. So, I'm, I'm definitely been trying stuff out. And y'all, what y'all need to try is that Fenty Skin that i ain't even gonna lie just 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 because she black and we room for the black i'm not gonna lie that shit been doing something for me i like that i ain't gonna lie i like the 50 skin it's it's definitely it's definitely good for the skin because i like the moisturizer too i can't tell y'all which whatever each one of them is called um but that 50 skin that cleanser bussing the moisturizer bussing um, and I also been trying Skin FX, but see, with my skin, you have to try one thing for a little minute and then give that a break and then try another thing for a minute. I can't like mix. Um, and I also been using the Tatcha moisturizer. So I use the Tatcha moisturizer in the morning and then at night I use the Fenty moisturizer. And when I tell you, chef's kiss. And then some days, some days, um... I use, still use the set of field. Like, if I'm going to work, I use the set of field because I know I'm going to need that for all day. And I'm not really sure how it works. The other moisturizers work for all day because I just use them and then I just lay them down or whatever. But our store is directly in front of the sun. And, you know, it's like 92 degrees out. So, yeah, I need some. <laughs> and, like, the sun don't make my oil no better. It's like the sweat is sitting under an entire layer of makeup and it's just not no good but i did also use the powder the setting powder on top of the primer and i actually liked it i like the way it came out a lot of um the makeup definitely stayed mad throughout the whole day but i know i need to start pressing it in more instead of just with a brush but anyway y'all this is gonna be the end of the vloggy vlog like i said we got an amazing vloggy vlog coming on saturday I know tomorrow I'm probably going to do another look for work and I open tomorrow. So I love y'all and I'll see y'all later. Bye.